So if you're doing the outer loop in Big Bend, you're down there. <laughs> Going through that geography where there's no water. So make sure you've got water caches. Anyway, one question that uh, never seems to ever get answered is how light is lightweight? And there really is no magic answer. You know, if you're carrying nine pounds, you're super lightweight, 10, 11, 12, you know, it's whatever works for you. So me as an example, you know, I get between 14 and 16 pound base weight I'm a happy camper, you know, I, I, for me, if I get lower than that, I'm gaining some discomfort, losing some comfort, and I'm not willing to do that. But a lot of people are, and they're happy doing it. Hey, whatever works for you. But, you know, one benchmark might be, and it is for me, I think, you know, if I can pick up my pack in the morning and walk for hours and never want to set it down because something hurts, I'm uncomfortable, I'm exhausted, I'm, I'm probably at the right weight. And, and that's kind of where I am at a 15 pound, say, base weight. And I mean, I could literally carry my pack all day and never set it down and never have anything hurting, never, thinking, oh God, I want to sit down and rest. I mean, I, I don't do that. I do rest. I do snack. You know, I, uh, but when I think about in the old days when everything was heavy, you know, I may walk an hour and uh, I wanted to sit down. I wanted to get that monkey off my back, but I never feel like I've got a monkey on my back anymore at that kind of weight. And you've got to find out where that threshold is for you and then try and reach it. But if you can't, again, you can still do these miles. So if you're looking for a magic number, there really isn't one. And things change all the time. You know, every trip's different. You might have to carry more water. You might have to carry your winter camping, everything's up in the air. Everything's gonna change. You're gonna carry a lot more gear. Like on this trip, I'm bringing a chair, you know, but I'm talking about a gear list. You're trying to put together to do a through hike and what you can afford budget wise, just try to get to a happy place. And if you can't get there, do a few, do a few more exercises. <laughs> Uh, speaking of that, you know, it's not like everybody's got their own medical issues. You know, for years, I've had this uh, pain right here in my shoulder blade, like my traps somewhere. It's almost like somebody's hitting me with a hot poker. And I, I can get that just carrying a day pack. Um, and it's only on my left side. And so I, you know, I doctor Googled around and if you doctor Google a lot, you'll find a lot of quacks, but actually I listened to a lot of chiropractors and tried a million different stretches and never found that perfect stretch. But doing some of those, I kind of found my own stretch that I made that relieved that. And now I do it as part of my morning routine all the time. And, uh, I don't have that anymore. You know, I think it's something in that shoulder that was tight and uh, it had a, a trigger point. So I would walk for an hour and then, like I say, it felt like somebody was hitting me with a hot poker and I could stop and find the trigger point, put pressure on it and just really lean into it and it would go away for another hour. So I was good for an hour, but it really wasn't my pack weight but I would have to stop every hour and deal with that thing. And on the PCT, I still had it. And after about 500 miles, it just miraculously went away. But after the PCT, it came back again. So now I think I'm kind of onto a stretch that's getting rid of that. But those are kind of things, if you've got the time to haul your gear before you start a trip, 
you'll find out little issues you might have and, and deal with them. And stop looking for that magic weight. Just keep working on it until you're happy. Keep smiling.